this caramel-colored canine is called a chow chow. Its origin traces back to China, and its name means puffy lion dog. When you look at it, it does sort of resemble the king of the jungle. In ancient China, the chow chow was used as a guard dog. So it was bred to be extra furry, which can be an intimidating look. While the chow chow was bred for protection, the pug was bred to be a lazy lap dog for rich Chinese royalty. And they wanted its face to be dark and fierce looking. The way that the pug got its very unique look is through selective breeding. So it's taking one animal that has a little bit more of a squished in dragon-like face and breed it with another one that has the same characteristics and hoping that the future offspring will eventually look exactly how you want that dog breed to look. Asia was also the birthplace of some of the world's most ancient hunting dog breeds. Take the cuddly Sharpe, for example. Ever wonder why its skin is so wrinkly? They were bred to help hunt down wild boar. And having a lot of loose skin did serve a purpose for them. So if they ever did get bit by a boar during a hunt, there's so much extra skin that they can actually turn around and bite back. In Japan, one of the most revered hunting dogs is the Akita Inu. Because of its great size and strength, the Akita was once used to hunt big game animals, like deer. And with its superior sense of smell, it could track down black bears and even hold them at bay until its master arrived to make the kill. Similar in appearance to the Akita Inu is the Shiba Inu. Alert, agile, and compact. The Shiba Inu was also used for hunting. They were bred really with helping on the hunt for smaller animals like birds and small mammals. They're a lot smaller than the Akita Inu and that's because the Shiba Inu is from mountainous regions, and having kind of a smaller body altogether is helpful if you're going through a lot of rocky terrain and high altitudes. Now here's an interesting little pooch. It's called a Tibetan Spaniel. The Spaniel has a specially keen eyesight once served as a guard dog for Tibetan monks. As a result, it's quick to react when a stranger approaches. Today, you're not likely to see any of these dogs performing the tasks they were originally bred for. Instead, most of the Asian breeds now simply serve as lovable family pets. Mm -hmm.